um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm back from, back again with um, part two of the Learmonth trip. Um, I know it's been a couple of weeks, but I know something about lockdown has kind of really done my head in and so I'm really not looking good for Australia right now. But anyway, we've been trying to get our vaccine and we can't. There, there isn't enough vaccine in this country. But anyway, it's another story. But today I wanted to um, show you some of the photos that I took when I was at Lake Learmonth. Um, this time we're going to have a look at the wind turbines and I think it's Lake Burrumbeet, something like that. It was a place we hadn't planned to go and um, I'm not really sure. I think Chris found it and then directed me there. I was driving that day. So um, we went and had a look at it. Um, we did decide on the day that it was more a dry weather place because there were places we could go but we couldn't get there because um the the ground was just too wet we've had a lot of rain this year which has been good in some ways not so good in other ways but anyway um let's go and have a look at the video footage and then i'm going to talk to you afterwards about the photos that i took and what i've been doing with them Having behind me, you can see up on the hill there are what are they called? Wind turbines for um, generating renewable energy. Um, I love them, and I have been meaning to stop here and take photos for so long. So I'm kind of glad I finally got here. going to try some long exposures with the wind turbines up there. I've just got my six stop on but I might have to change to my ten stop because it's really really bright out here. I'm also using um, Winston tripod, a bigger one this time because it is a bit windy and it seems to cope in these conditions better. wild we see this nature thing as it is I think we believe I believe it's called a photographer as they sit there with their camera up to their eye holding very very still shall we take a look at what they're photographing <laughs> so the wind turbines are great I love them but I do think, like everything, there is some, they are something that I'm going to have to come back and do over and over, possibly, until I work out exactly the right way to photograph them. I wish they weren't so far away. I don't understand people who don't love them. They're just so beautiful, so majestic, so big. cold now and I'm about ready to <laughs> just jump in the car and stay there. I'm not really sure where we're going to go after this so it could be a surprise. I don't know if Chris do you have any idea where we're going next Chris? Uh, no, clue. no clue. So 
not that I'm unhappy with what I've got so far. It's been, it's been a pretty good day. We've done all the things that we said we were going to do. So it's just a surprise now. We'll see. Otherwise, I'll see you back at home. to work out where these cows are going but we can hear a tractor so I suspect they're waiting for dinner there it is Um, we might be just about done for the day. I think we've done plenty. As I said earlier, everything we planned to do. Might be time to head into town, into Ballarat, to see if we can find something for dinner. If I can get Chris to the car, that is. Look at her go. You know, remember that wildlife thing I was telling you about? The photographer in the wild. There she is. She's still doing what she was doing. I think she's photographing this windmill. She's pretty cool. I love the cows. jump back in the car I'm pretty sure that this is going to be it for the day unless Chris surprises me with something else but otherwise I'm gonna see you at home bye see there some of the photos that um, we took while we were there. Um, some of them were 
you know, it's not always, it can be a bit interesting, especially when you're taking photos for the first time somewhere or you're experimenting with something as I was with wind turbines. Um, I know that if I went back, and I think I said this in the video, that I would probably, there are some things I would do a little bit differently. Um, one of them I know definitely for sure is I just held the camera up to my face and took a hip and just took snap, snap, snap. And I wish now I'd put the camera on the tripod to do that so that I could get a whole heap of um, photos of, of them going around and around and then try putting them together. I had put some together. It wasn't as easy as it would have been if I'd put them on the tripod, but I'll show those to you in a minute. But, you know, so it's good to experiment and just to try different things when you're going out. Um, but it's also good to be able to go back to a place and say, okay, well, last time this didn't work. What can I do differently this time? Um, I don't know about you, but I often think about, you know, if I've been to a place, um, what have I done? Oh, what did I like? What didn't I like? What would I do if I went back? Or for most of the places I go to, it's when I go back. It's one of the things I like about just taking photos of where I live and places that are not too far from home. Um, I always get really frustrated when I travel and you know, not that I've done it a lot, but when you travel and you know, the conditions are crap or you know, you, you're taking photos and then when you see them later on, when you get home, you think, oh damn, why didn't I just step two feet that way or, you know, something like that. So at least when I'm photographing around home, I know that that's exactly what I can do. Um, I know a lot of people think you have to be into travel to take photos. I just don't think it's true. I think you're going to get the best photos that you'll ever get from where you live. But anyway, let's go and, um, right now I'm going to, um, just take you over to the computer and we're going to have a look at some of the photos I took and might talk about a couple of things that I did, mainly with the wind turbines. Um, when we went to the other lake, I've just processed a few of the photos so you can see those. But um, let's have a look at the wind turbines. Okay, so onto the computer. So here are the photos that I took that day. Um, this is part one and part two, so you'll see some photos that you saw last week as well. Um, this is, um, we're looking at them in um, Bridge from Photoshop. So I'm just going to scroll down so you can see more of the photos that I took um, for the second part and for this video too. So um, lots and lots of, you know, you could say how many photos can you take of wind turbines love to experiment with them more if we go right up the top remember in the video I was talking about how I was doing some long exposures well they're long oh that's not a very good one we should delete that one that's not very good either okay so um, this is one of those long exposures and as you can see one of the problems with doing long exposures is you know the blades just disappear if you do them for too long. I can't remember what this one was for. This one was three seconds. So it wasn't even that long. And in three seconds you can you just lose them all. So it's the same thing that happened. Let's just go back to some other photos. About three, four years ago I went down to Cape Nelson and this was my first time experimenting and um, taking photos down there and you can see here the same thing happened with the long exposures you just lose everything so um, I always knew I would have to do it differently if I went back so once I went back to here again it was realizing that you can't give it too long so this was across the road so you can see now you can starting to see the blades because I was slowing the time down and here it was like 1.3 seconds and then so the more I slowed it down the more movement I got this was a fifth of a second so um, you know you get that idea that they're moving without um, losing everything so um, it was quite it's quite interesting to do and as you can tell this was all done on a tripod and I've just made the image crooked whoops so um then we um, go back to 
looking at these ones and so these ones were similar so I mean not similar but you, you'll be able to tell as I move through them you can see how much I've kind of moved like you just can't help it the camera will move when you're standing still just holding it so so I did play around a little bit and um, I put together a few of the photos probably at the bottom um, and I put a whole heap together and just played with the blending modes and I mean I don't know if they're really that good but they're kind of a bit of fun um, you can see this one over here wasn't working this image looks a bit crooked so, um, we're, and this one here is one of the long exposures where I've actually put a few of them together. I mean, you know, you can use, you know, you load them all into layers and use some blending modes to, you know, try and um, put them together. If it's something that you're interested in, you want to see how I've done them, um, let me know and um, maybe we can do a video on it sometime. But they're kind of interesting. So, um, yeah. something a bit different so um like I said the biggest challenge I had with these was putting them on um getting them all to align up because I was hand holding and you know so I have done um I have done some more photos so um the other ones above here from last week so these are just some of the images that I did for you guys today actually this Photoshop images. There we go. You can see a bigger version of them. Wait for them to load. So they're, they're quite majestic things, and they're definitely something I would look, like to go back to at some point and experiment more with. Um, all the cows. So this is like Burrum Beat, I think it was called. So, um, we just, you know, I just played around. I like this one. I like the way you've got this windmill, but then you've got these sort of like modern day windmills in the distance. And then these ones that I played around with. So um, they're basically all I've done for this video, but hopefully it gives you an idea of um, what I've been up to and what I've been doing. So that's it for this week. Um, I haven't been out been getting out much um, we were in lockdown for a couple of weeks we aren't now I'm hoping to go out this week sometime I did manage a day in the city recently so um, I'll show that video to you soon but um, yeah it's just been it's really hard and you know, Sydney's in lockdown now so um, it's probably only a matter of time before the Delta variant ends up in Melbourne and we're back in lockdown too um, but so I'm gonna try and get some stuff done before then but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this week. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. No, actually just subscribe. And um, let me know if you wanna see a little bit more processing. It's probably something I'm probably more known for. Okay, um, I'll catch you all next week with the video from the city. Bye.